Hey guys, so this is a very serious topic that I'm talking about today. This isn't a normal vlog, this isn't thoughts from the home, this isn't cray cray covers, this isn't no days off, and this isn't your normal bonus clip, you know. Last time I did one of these, it was me talking about death. Me talking about three celebrities that had died. You know, one being, you know, an elderly lady, one being a wrestler who had been on drugs, and one being on a very talented musician who was probably on drugs as well. But today, I'm talking about the five... Or not the five, but the three. Sorry about that. The three shootings that have gone on this week alone. It all started with the Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Alton Sterling killing. Now, I've seen two videos. A crappy... A crappy cell phone video to where you can't really see anything. All you see is a black man with two white cops on top of him and it looks like he's struggling it looks like he's resisting arrest then I saw the second video in the first one people were saying oh he was reaching for a gun in the second one I do believe he was that's my honest opinion it looks like he's reaching for something in his right hand alright And I literally saw a man die on camera. The second one was the St. Anthony, Minnesota, Rondo Castell killing. The aftermath is what you see. And his girlfriend literally putting the aftermath on Facebook Live. You know. And you see the man die. And he apparently told the cop that he had a concealed weapon, but that he had a permit for it. And that the cop asked for his ID, so he's reaching for his wallet. Most people, myself, keep my wallet in my back pocket. And this cop apparently shot him six times in the arm, and the dude died. And you literally see him die on camera as well. But the reaction from the cop, screaming out the F word, over and over and over again. You know the cop did wrong. You know he shot this man on purpose and can't handle it. And finally, I want to talk about one that I woke up to this morning. Dallas. Five officers killed, seven others injured. Come to find out that there were people up on roofs snipering them, literally aiming to kill. Because cops are the bad guys. Now there's bad cops out there, there's good cops out there. But not every white cop Yes, I'm saying it, is a bad cop. Just like not every black guy is a thug. Some of my best friends in high school were black people, but were whiter than me. And I'm just sorry, I'm going to rant for a little bit. Because there are things on my mind about this. You know... There are people that are going to be coming out saying that Anton Sterling, Alton Sterling, sorry, was a good man. But there are going to be other people, like I've seen today, from news networks bringing up his past about how he was a sex offender, how he has this and this and this and this and this. You know, it gets to. Apparently, Flando didn't have anything except for a little bit of weed in his car his girlfriend liked to say at the end of the video 
you know, but had nothing. And then five officers killed and seven others injured. Listen, to me, all I'm seeing is 14 people dead. 14 people within a week dead. Why? Because of race. Why? Because we as humans, we as Americans, we as humans, can't get along. And it just kills me. Because as a 30 year old man who is on the level, on the line of being a poverty, you know, I can't really use my white privilege, you know, to that. I can't. You know, I have black friends, I have white friends, I have Asian friends, I have friends of all all sorts of races, genders, sexual orientations, disabled, abled. I have friends of all these, you know, religions, if I didn't say that one already, but it kills me inside, it hurts my heart to see this happening. I mean, people, get it through your heads. We're all human, okay? We're all one thing, human. Get along, come together. And that's really all I have for this clip. I'm gonna continue my vlog. I'm gonna do no days off later. You have one more thoughts for the throne this week. I guess I'll see you guys later. There's no music after this, so go on about your day. Love one another. That's all I gotta say.